Uh, I've been interacting with the Jericho Park wetland for a little over five years when I first became the manager of the Jericho Hostel. But it goes beyond a work experience for me. I got married down uh, by the Jericho wetlands, so it's become a part of, I guess, my family, you could say, as well. Uh, so I work down there, I play down there, and now that I have a new baby daughter and stuff like that, I'll be introducing her to the wetlands as well. It's become synonymous with my life, I guess. The wetland, to me, is important more so on a spiritual level, I guess. Uh, for me, it's that break from the everyday. It's that calm that you can experience just by going for a walk for a couple of minutes and all of a sudden you're at the duck pond and uh, uh, you just lose all your worries uh, by being there. One of my first opportunities to experience the wetland, I was biking through the park and I had to come to an abrupt stop in order to make way for a family of ducks going by. And to me, that was a great experience because that's a Jericho traffic jam. You know, there aren't a lot of cars and stuff like that, but if you're walking through the park, there's gonna be a lot of ducks. And uh, to me, that, that was really special. People come to Jericho to experience Jericho. They experience everything that the wetlands has to offer. I don't think there is a way to recreate that feeling anywhere. We're part of a worldwide network of hostels, 4,000 hostels in 80 different countries, and I think we have something truly unique here. It's not like we are any other accommodation provider. We have people coming back year after year after year because it is Jericho. There is that Jericho effect, and um, I think the wetlands has everything to do with that.